Hello. How are you guys doing today? I'm not getting a whole lot of sleep at night because Naomi is keeping me up. And then she's asleep right now. I was trying to nap and I couldn't sleep. So here we are, halfway through 12 days of noonday. Can you guys believe how fast it goes? <laughs> December just flies. But today we're featuring our Peru business partners. This is Furman and Madeline. They're pretty cute. <laughs> I'll read you their story. Um, they live in a town, the name of which I cannot pronounce, but it's in Lima, Peru. It says it's hot and dry, surrounded by steep stone covered hills with few plants in sight. The hillsides and streets appear dusty, but are bustling with commerce and life. The local population is constantly growing as more and more people move from the Peruvian countryside in search of opportunity in the capital city. As the population swells, it's becoming increasingly difficult for people in areas that they live in to find work. This neighborhood is the largest in Lima, with over 1 million people residing within its boundaries. Despite the intensities of urbanization and the stress on families, emerging business leaders are providing a pathway out of poverty for migrants to the region, creating opportunities for people to care for their families and invest back into the local community. On a side street in this community is a brightly painted yellow house. This house has become a beacon of hope for families who are emerging from the hardships of the recent economic crisis and reinventing their lives in this sprawling city. This yellow house is the jewelry workshop of Furman and Madeline, artisans who create jewelry for Noonday in Peru. Furman has created jewelry for 25 years. Together, they employ 15 people who handcraft jewelry for Noonday's customers. For Furman, supporting the economic health of his community is the principal reason he continues his work. He shared, we want to provide people with the tools to get ahead and ensure that they always have a place with us here. Furman says that fair trade is about action, not words, and that there is no value in fair trade if one does not actively live out a philosophy that empowers one's employees. Furman learned how to create jewelry from his stepfather, a master ironsmith, who had learned the trade from his father in his humble home workshop. Furman and his sisters were taught the tools of jewelry making at a very young age, working with traditional Peruvian techniques and using local materials such as silver and gold to create elaborate custom designs. They first learned the skill of casting metals, a technique that has been passed down through the generations. The artisan works with a clay fire, fusing the metal pieces together with a torch and a tong, slowly manipulating the metal before passing through the various phases of completion from shaping to casting to polishing to the final quality control check. In Furman's workshop, one piece of noonday jewelry may pay, pass through the hands of at least four workers, each completing the meticulous detailed work that Furman or a relative their own has trained them in. Furman and Madeline have been married for over 20 years and have two children, Franco, 16, who is currently studying in marketing and management in university, and Aaron, 13, who is a dedicated musician. With his typical shining smile, Furman remembers meeting Madeline as she passed his house on the way to the market when they were teenagers. After seven years of courtship, the two were married. When they first met, Madeline recalls, I knew nothing of jewelry making, but she enjoyed designing and Furman taught her to trade slowly, encouraging her love for detail and innovation with metals. Madeline tells their story differently, giggling and sighing openly giving a glimpse into that young 15-year-old on the way to the market. She talks about how inspiring Furman was from the moment she met him. He exuded a joy, a different concern about others that attracted her to him as a partner and eventually a spouse. Today, the two work side by side in the workshop. There are days we disagree, of course, Madeline shared, and I sometimes think I need a break, but I only ever leave for five minutes because we're a team and we can get through anything. Their love is infectious and fills not only their home, which is attached to the workshop, but the workshop itself. Each worker is deeply focused on the task at hand, 
but a joy permeates the room and a constant interaction of collaboration led by Madeline filled the air. Furman remembers when he met Jessica, the founder of Noonday Collection. In his words, she believed in me from the beginning. It all happened so fast. Noonday has shown us how to work in fashion using new designs that are innovative and interesting. At first, we thought that Noonday was a small business, but now we know it's large and growing. We hope to grow with them. It's the first time we've worked directly with a client, and now we have hope for future, for the future and for our business. Working with Noonday Collection has offered Furman the opportunity to thrive, empowering him to hire new people, invest in his workshop, and research new opportunities to grow his business. Last summer, he visited Noonday's offices in Austin, Texas with his oldest son, Franco. After their visit to Austin, Franco shared with Furman, Dad, going to, vis going to Texas to visit Noonday was the best investment we could have made. Furman says that Noonday's orders have reinvigorated his employees, given them new opportunities, Watching his employees work so diligently gives him hope for the future, and he dreams of a day when everyone in his community has the opportunity to flourish through fair and dignified work. Today's winner of our gift card for $10, woo, there goes my necklace, <laughs> is Lydia. Hooray! I'm really excited for her. We only have six more to give away. I wish I could give them away every day. That would be really fun. Um, yeah, so you guys, anyone who's part of my um, Noonday Facebook group, hey Levi, or um, following my Noonday Instagram account um, is automatically entered every day. And then there are additional entries for booking trunk shows, um, sharing my group or account with your friends, and commenting and liking on live videos. So thanks for interacting, you guys. Um, we're just going to bless Furman and Madeline for a minute. Thank you, Jesus, that you give us our heart's desires. Um, you love to exalt the humble. You love to take care of the poor. And you love to put your spirit into people. Thank you, Jesus, for willing vessels and open hands and hearts, for Furman and Madeline to continue to give themselves to the oppressed in their community. And thank you, Jesus, for us in the U.S. to be able to continually give ourselves um, to the oppressed around the world in every way that we can, including partnership with Noonday, that we're partnering with real people, with real lives, with real marriages, with real communities, real families, real businesses. I thank you for just a thriving to come to the business partnership in Peru, that it would have a flourishing, flourishing year like never before. And that Madeline and Furman's marriage would just set an example for everyone in their area. Um, not only of how to forgive each other of our differences, but how to not give up. Thank you, Jesus. You don't give up on us. Amen. I'll see you guys tomorrow.